Hi, Joelle. Hi, Joelle. Did we say your name right? Is it Joelle? Yes. Good evening, sir. Hi, Miss Nina. Would you like to say hi to all your supporters here tonight? Hi. Hello, everybody. So who's with you? Uh, my tita and my cousin. So just a lot of my family here today to support me. Yes. Wow. Family is the greatest. Yeah. Yes. So do you have a message for your family? Thank you so much. I love you all. Wow. So, Joel, uh, I'm very curious because I know that you're into skating, correct? So, why are you into skating and what is your, like, is that your passion? Do you want to pursue it? Do you want to compete in the future? Yes. Well, I've been a competitive figure skater for over 12 years now. Oh. And I've actually really loved skating ever since I was young. It was been always been my passion. And I would definitely pursue it in the future. And it's always been something that I truly, truly love. And one of the biggest lessons I learned from that was no matter how many times you fall, no matter how many times you pop out of a spin, you always have to get up. And I've applied this lesson throughout my life, not only as a Miss Cebu candidate, but also as a nursing student, that, that innate resilience will always be in me as a Cebuana and as a figure skater. So hopefully with the Miss Cebu crown, I can channel that and share that message and showcase that Cebuanos always have the resilience to get up and we will work from our self and really get up and really showcase the beauty and the resilience of Cebu. Wow. Okay, so what's your uh, biggest project so far? Oh, I'm working with a house for a celebrity client in Manila. So oh, I'm very proud wow. of that. Manila, celebrity in Manila. Would you uh, give us a clue who this yeah. celebrity is? Hmm, don't, by not naming. By not naming, she's a very famous female celebrity in the Philippines and her partner is from Cebu. Oh. 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 Is she a singer? No. Oh, okay. Actress. I got the wrong guess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing another artist as well. There's a lot of like Filipino artists, or I mean, artists from Manila that has partners in Cebu. Oh, yeah. Yes. I also have a very particular family that I love. Oh. <laughs> so, good luck to you. Are. Good luck for Miss Cebu. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. China, China. Michelle Reyes. Thank you. Which university is this? Cebu Institute of Technology University. And what course are you taking up? Psychology. Oh, oh, so why have you taken up psychology? You know, I really love the study of the brain and mental processes because it's really fascinating how both uh, chemical factors and your environment can really shape a person's personality. Oh, wow. Okay. Sure. The, Oh. <laughs> can you grasp it? Okay. I, I can grasp it. The <laughs> study of brain. All right. Amazing. Thank yes. you. Good luck to your uh, course and Thank for Miss Cebu, so Angela Christiana McKinney. Thank Same uh, modeling family. Yeah, yes. how, how long have you been a model? Many I've, years already. It hasn't been a year yet. Oh, very, very, very young. Yeah, very but I've seen you uh, in some in several pageants already. You're like a timer, such a timer. So being a timer, the first time for Miss Cebu, how does it feel being here? Yeah. Well, since I have joined, I started joining pageants at the age of 13, I was told that I was already experienced in the pageant world, but it is actually my first time being part of Miss Cebu, and it has been such a wonderful experience. The whole experience here, especially with my fellow Miss Cebu sisters is something that I will forever cherish and this is one of the things that I will forever cherish during this competition. Oh great, oh, wow. thank you very much. The sisterhood is very important. I love your dress. Good evening, hello. Lavender thank is you. actually a very, my favorite color in fact. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, blue looks good on you. Oh, thank you so much. Is this much. your first time to join a pageant? No. This is my second time actually. Second Just second time. time. Second time. So how is it now being a second timer? Right. How does it yeah. feel? Are you more competitive this time around? I'm more of a risk taker. Let's not um, say competitive, but I'm open to opportunities. And to answer your question, being able to join a second pageant is more open, eye-opening, especially that Miss Cebu is one of the prestigious pageants in whole Cebu City, and it is with a purpose. Yes, right. definitely, definitely. Well, best of luck for you, Jess. Niza, Niza Archival. Yes, that's correct. Are you related to the counselor? Yes, he's actually my uncle. Oh, uh, do you have any plans in the future to uh, join also politics? 
I'm actually in politics right now. I just recently won the Barangay Elections number one SK councillor. Wow, from Barangay let's Kalanga. give a round of applause. Yes. Shout out to some of my youth. Huh? They're actually here with me tonight to support me. And while we are at it, what's uh, what's give us a project that you uh, plan on doing in the near future? Actually, we're waiting for our funds to come in. My first project would be um, collecting water bottles from the various corporations in Talamban so we can collect them and then we can sell them to different like Coke because usually Coca-Cola or Pepsi they tend to buy plastic so that they can recycle them yes that's correct wow, wow. such a good cause yes, yes. good luck to you a beauty with a purpose right yes, that is correct. that's Miss Cebu and good luck yeah. to you and to all Thank your you so much. members <laughs> Natasha where are you from? I'm from Mandawe. From Mandawe. Mandawe. Oh, yeah. Mandawe Hanon pala. Uh, <laughs> in Cebu City, are you, uh, do you have uh, relatives? A few from Lahog and near Falon Street. Lahog. And what's your favorite place in Cebu City? If it, you will be asked by a foreigner, which place would you like to um, emphasize? So, there are a lot of beautiful places here in Cebu, but one of the things that I would like to emphasize is, of course, the famous, the place that we're here right now. So, here in SRP. So I want them to explore a little bit of our coastals and maybe venture out to our highlands and of course enjoy our city lights. Yes. Thank you. Thank wow. You. wow. Future uh, <laughs> tourism commissioner. commissioner. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, uh, ambassadors. Ambassadors, uh, of course. So good luck to you. Thank you so much. Right. Sinulog. Sinulog. <laughs> Hi, Christine Kate Laval. Hello. Hello. And Hello. Uh, I hope you don't mind me asking how young are you? Oh, I am young and 22 years old, living the life of a world, of a oh. dream woman. Oh. Oh, Are you working already? I am currently a student at Cebu Doctors University, studying at Cebu, studying at Doctor of Medicine in Dentistry. Okay, so of all the professions that uh, there is in this world, why have you chosen to become a dentist? Because as a dentist, I believe that everyone deserves a beautiful smile. And not just that, I myself have been inspired by not just one, but since I was little, I found this little tooth where it came up off me. And it became my inspiration and curiosity to pursue my dreams, which I am pursuing right now at Cebu Doctors University. A proud dentista, a proud doctor of medicine in dentistry. Wow. Uh, very unique the one among two names sounds like names. Yes. Yes. Zoe Cameron. Oh, yeah, Cameron. Uh, not a foreign blood. My mom has some Scottish descent, but I think that my father is pure Filipino. Do you know a Scottish uh, phrase or greetings? No, I don't. <laughs> well, At least honest. Okay, yes. so do you have any questions for her? Okay, Zoe, I know that you're also into hosting. I've actually seen Zoe host before. Do you want to pursue hosting as well in the future? Yes, I definitely want to pursue hosting as a career because a little bit about me, I used to be a very shy, timid and little girl and I had severe social anxiety. But when I first held the mic, I felt that I could conquer the world because I felt as if my voice had a reason to be heard, that people are there to hear me, hear what I have to say, and that I have something beneficial or helpful to say to people. So that is a career that I would suggest or recommend to people who are also struggling with public speaking or they just want to come out of their shell. And me standing here right now, to be honest, it's a huge success for me, speaking my heart out unapologetically. Wow. Family name Ma. Wow. Asan originate ang mga mas? It came from Guangzhou, China. China. Yeah, my grandmother told me that. Oh. So have you been to your hometown? I mean, your mom's hometown. No, I haven't been to Guangzhou, but I've been to Shanghai, China. Yeah. Wow. How was your trip in Shanghai? Can you tell tell us about Shanghai? Well, to be honest, it was my aunt's business trip, and I just wanted to go to China, so I went with her. And I strolled around alone, and we went to the Shanghai Tower. It was so nice, the view was nice, and I hope that I could also see how nice China is here in Cebu. Wow. And well, advance Happy Chinese New Year. It's happening I very guess. soon, right? Very, very soon. Hi, Angel Jane. 
Hello and mayong gabi sa Bu again. <laughs> very tall girl. How tall are you? I'm 5'7". Ah, very tall. 5'7 with the heels. That's 5'11 <laughs> yeah. or 12. One of my broadest asset actually. <laughs> Six footer? Okay. Well, because of your height, have you ever considered to join sports? No, I'm actually a type of person who invests in art and during my high school times, I only invest with peer facilitating as well as I am actually a former CAT officer. So I'm proud to compete, not in a competitive sport, but more on in um, a world field. So rather. Did you mention art, right? So yes. what field in arts? Advertising arts. So I want to become, as I mentioned before, a future creative visionary director because I'm a type of person who envisions to um, create my innovative and creative possibilities into a reality. Wow. Well, we need you to promote Singapore like Cebu yes, City with Melbourne feature. Okay. The, the mayor will be happy. Now Sophia. So give Hi. us the history about this second yeah, name of yours. Oh my mom told me that it was my auntie who gave that. I think Every every people who will be around with me, if, even with their broken heart, and I can bend them with just my smile, optimism, and this positive attitude that I have. You are um, a charm. charm yes. <laughs> Do you have a boyfriend, or you? Okay, no, you don't okay. have to answer it. It's okay. <laughs> okay, don't so worry about uh, it. since you are the last, would you like to greet your supporters here tonight? Okay. Um, hi to my family there and to the ever Cordovanon who is watching right now. Thank you so much for supporting me, for your love. I have felt it along this journey. Thank you so much. Thank